Hello all, I am Sonal and you are watching the series of success stories brought to you by Indian Achievers Forum. As you all know, the series is all about the prominent achievers who has made India proud in some way or the other. So the main focus of the series is to let you all know about the experiences and achievements of our guest. So today we have Mr. Akshay Kashyap, who is the managing director of Green Fuel Energy Solutions Private Limited. But before we start the conversation with him, let's have a look at a very small video telling you about what we actually do. Indian Achievers Forum is driven by a full-fledged advisory board. The board consists of experienced personalities who have excelled in their respective careers. Together, the forum organizes conferences, events, workshops, exhibitions, trade shows and B2B initiatives in India as well as abroad. Where there is passion, there is achievement. And where there is achievement, there is Indian Achievers Forum. Hello, Mr. Akshay, how are you? Yeah, hi, Sonal, how are you? I'm good. Okay, so let's start with our first question, and that is tell me something about you and your professional role. So, uh, Sonal, I'm a mechanical engineer. Uh, I passed out of uh, Florida Institute of Technology in the year 2001. And uh, after that, uh, I uh, did some work in the US, I worked with a company there. And in 2004, I came back to India, joined my dad. And uh, 2006 is when I started Green Fuel Energy Solutions. And uh, about three years ago, I uh, went to Wharton School for a diploma course on uh, finance and operations. Uh, 2018 was a great year for me. I was also awarded the Emerging Entrepreneur of the Year Award uh, by India Today Group, which uh, still remains a great feather in my cap. Uh, as far as my role is concerned, I am the managing director of Green Fuel Energy Solutions, but I only take that as a, uh, you know, designation. I think as an entrepreneur in uh, India and uh, anywhere in the world, you really have to uh, learn to do everything from making tea in your office to selling your products to being there with your people uh, to being there in the field. Uh, you know, when your customers need you the most. Uh, so I think my role is a little bit of everything and a little bit of nothing uh, with an official designation as managing director. Thank you. Well, that was great. And as you mentioned that you followed your father footsteps and you joined your father's business. So tell me something that how did the idea of this particular business came in your mind? Okay, so a little correction. I did not follow my father's footsteps. I joined okay. his business, but uh, Green Fuel is totally my baby, okay. right? Uh, I'm a first generation entrepreneur. And uh, frankly speaking, I had uh, nobody in the automotive sector really to look up to. But uh, mm -hmm. you see, uh, when I was in the US, I was working with a company which did certain components for uh, vehicles which used natural gas as a fuel. And uh, when I came back to India, uh, uh, CNG had become a big deal uh, in the Indian market because of the, thanks to the Supreme Court ruling against pollution. Uh, however, there was a big gap between what uh, you know was being used in the world as components versus what was being used as components in India. And uh, there was a lack of understanding of international safety regulations, of designing of uh, you know fuel delivery systems. And over there, we saw a great potential uh, to be able to bridge the uh, gap through knowledge and through bringing in a set of components which complied with uh, such requirements of performance, safety, reliability, uh, which is required. And that's how I got the idea by seeing this big gap and saying that there has to be a way to bridge this gap between what the world is doing and what we are doing in India. And that's how this idea came to me. 
well i must say that was a great initiative by you okay so talking about your journey what sort of challenges you faced and also how did you find the solutions to those challenges well i think the biggest challenge we first faced is that we had an idea uh and we wanted to do something which would uh, positively impact uh, everything around us and especially safety of cng as a fuel however uh, i think the biggest challenge for us was to convince the customers to educate the customers uh as to why they should be using uh different products and not what is being used uh and uh, the reason for that is that if you want to use a certain uh, level of product uh you must uh you know have the courage to spend a little more and uh, make that as a benchmark and not something different and i think the biggest challenge we faced was that we had a dream but uh, you know realization of the dream when we get out into the market uh, we realized that uh, there is a gap in understanding so actually we uh, spent about 6 to 9 months in just educating customers on uh, uh, different customers and i must say that we got a great uh, reception from a lot of them and uh, uh, you know they were very open to uh, listening and to change and that's how we got our first breakthrough which was the large tata uh, tata motors marco polo project which was being done in india and in delhi for the commonwealth games uh, and uh, they were the first ones to use a very uh, highly engineered reliable solution and uh, that challenge to uh, educate was a very interesting one uh, because you know sometimes you feel that your idea should generate revenue tomorrow but that doesn't happen and i think that was one of the biggest challenges we faced when we entered the market well challenges are the part of our life sir and we have to deal with it no matter what and you really well dealt with all those challenges i must say so moving ahead can you elaborate more about your goods and services which you offer right so green fuel energy solutions was uh, formed with the premise of uh, promoting uh, cleaner fuels in automotive and uh, cleaner fuels in mobility as general and that's been our mantra from the beginning so today we offer a huge gamut of uh, products uh, in vehicles that use uh, natural gas as a fuel we are also future ready we are the only company who has uh, done complete system for a hydrogen bus uh, which is uh, in my opinion the future uh, so we offer those kind of uh, services and products as well uh we also have now a lithium ion battery uh, plant and i'm proud to say that we are the only company who has applied for four patents on our product design in india uh and this lithium ion battery uh, was primarily designed for e mobility which as you know is electric mobility and zero emission as a fuel so these are our products and services around e mobility the battery uh, lithium ion battery products and a host of products which go in the fuel systems of uh, vehicles using natural gas or any gaseous fuel for that matter we have that technical expertise as far as the future plans go uh, we are very excited uh, actually we are extremely excited because right now is a great time uh even though uh, we've been hit by covid and you know plans change and things uh, change however what is important is that india is committed to natural gas as a fuel and we hope to see in the next 5 years 5500 more cng stations and that means uh, you know tripling the number of stations that we have today and that's the kind of growth we hope to see in the future as far as natural gas is a few is concerned uh, in lithium ion uh, is extremely exciting as well because electromobility is now becoming mainstream in a lot of segments and i feel that again with our philosophy of giving reliable zero defect product to the customer we are well positioned to ride that wave of growth in those segments uh and really uh, you know go from where we are today to 10 times the revenue so overall by 2025 
I see that Greenfield will easily triple its revenue from where it stands today. So that's our future plan. And uh, ultimately, the plan is to make it a greener planet, uh, you know, and reduce our carbon footprint in what we do. That's so nice of you. And I wish you all the very best for all your future goals. So moving ahead, talking about Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhyan initiated by your Honorable Prime Minister. What are your views on it and how is your organization working on it? So I think uh, the clarion call from the Prime Minister is uh, very well timed and very well thought. Uh, and I think we must be Atmanirbhar. And Atmanirbhar really means that we must produce more in India for India and rest of the world. I don't think anywhere it means protectionism. And I think we have a long way to go, but there are some amazing steps we are taking. So for example, if 10 years ago, we imported 70% of our products, today we are at a state where we import only 20% of the product. And in five years, I want to bring that number down to zero. And this has been afforded because of the demand coming from the market. In lithium ion batteries, unfortunately, the cells still are imported. And the only way we felt we could be Atmanirbhar is that even though the cells are coming from abroad, India has a unique set of uh, requirements in the field, in its applications. And what we were able to do is while those cells are imported, we were able to produce everything else in India and manufacture that in India and apply for uh, patents uh, for our products in India for Indian conditions. And today I am proud to say that our technology is already ready for the world. And we have got enough inquiries and are pursuing opportunities where people are uh, wanting product from India today instead of the other countries they were sourcing from. So I think the idea of Atmanirbhar is great. I think Green Fuel is very committed to the idea. And in the CNG, uh, we hope to bring down our imports to almost 0% in the next five years. And uh, it's great to see that the government is encouraging uh, cell making in India uh, by giving uh, almost $4.6 billion of incentives is what they are announcing. And I hope that uh, the big companies of the world who produce these cells uh, take the initiative and make that in India. And that way, uh, our uh, entire battery pack will be made in India and not only made in India, it's technology developed in India. And that's what makes the difference. Exactly. Very well said, sir. So uh, our next question is that I was literally waiting to put forward to you. And that is, what were your feelings on winning Indian Achievers Award? Oh, the feeling was amazing. Uh, but, you know, I don't believe it's me who's won the award. I think uh, it's great to be validated through such awards. And uh, it was uh, amazing for my family. Even my eight-year-old daughter was jumping with joy. Uh, but I think what is most important is this award is a function of the amazing team and teamwork that we have with, at Greenfield. The vision may be mine, but the execution is everybody around us and everybody within the Greenfield family. So for me, this award is a uh, you know amalgamation and a validation of the hard work that they put in every day to make uh, great things happen. So I think it was not only me, but uh, the entire Greenfield family that was very excited to be validated through this wonderful award. Well, I must say that you're truly an achiever, well deserving for this award and all your team. OK, so as you mentioned about air pollution, so one of the reports says that India recorded highest air pollution exposure globally in 2019. So what are your views on it? And also, I would like to know that what positive impact you are making to the environment? Yes, uh, Donal, unfortunately, this is true. We hold this dubious record and I think we need to make a change. Uh, the thing is that 14 out of uh, 20 of the most polluted cities in the world are in India. So we have a real problem. 
and our next generation does not deserve uh, getting uh, this kind of an environment uh, from us. And to make this positive impact, I think that was the singular most important motivation for us when we started Green Fuel. And today I am proud to say that thanks to the adoption of our CNG product technologies, there have been over 25 billion kilometers covered on our products by different automobiles. And that in itself has saved tons of uh, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and brought down the uh, pollution level within cities. Having said that, we of course have a long way to go. And automotive pollution does contribute a large amount to city pollution. And what we can do is to use, uh, even as citizens, to use cleaner sources of transportation like vehicles running on natural gas or vehicles uh, in future running on electric so that at a local level we are able to reduce the impact of vehicular pollution within these cities. And green fuel has been enabling this, as I said, through many, many billion kilometers traveled on its components. And I'm also proud to say that our lithium ion batteries, which we started supplying only last year, in one application, we've already covered 1.2 million kilometers. And I hope to see those millions become billions very soon so that the more kilometers traveled on cleaner fuel, the better it is for the environment. So that's the kind of uh, impact we've had on the environment. Well, that's really great, sir, that you are doing this much for the environmental issues. Uh, and I must say that you are truly an inspiration for all the youngsters out there. So before concluding this lovely session with you, what message would you like to give to today's generation who wants to become an entrepreneur someday? Well, uh, there's lots I want to tell them, but I think what they need to understand is that entrepreneurship is a journey and there will be times, more times than less that things will be bad plans will go awry, uh, things will not go as you want them to go. But remember this, the reason you started this journey is because you had a why, a purpose. Keep following that purpose, build resilience uh, amongst yourselves and keep following that purpose. Because if your purpose is true, you will achieve success one day. But don't expect the journey to be easy and therefore remain committed to your idea, your uh, purpose, make things happen no matter how many obstacles come in your way because there will be many. Very well said, sir. So thank you so much for your time and thank you for connected with us. It was lovely meeting you. Thank you so much, Sonal. I hope you have a great day. Thank you once again to the India Achievers Forum for it's awarding uh, Green Fuel with this wonderful award. It's our pleasure. May you continue to rise and shine like this and you are doing so much for the environment and I wish you all the very best for all your future plans. Thank you. Thanks a lot.